Hey guys, uh, before we start the video, um, I want to give a good shout out to Radicool. This guy is actually pretty cool. He recently uh, subscribed to me and I like to check out my subscribers' videos or, or content before I like uh, get to know them properly and stuff like that. And uh, Radicool is actually a pretty good YouTuber. He's very natural in what he does and he doesn't have very many subs, he's only got 223, and his goal is to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I want to help him out with that, and as you can see right here, he even added me to his uh, cool community, I thought that was pretty nice of him, I really appreciate that, thank you very much, uh, but yeah, he's got some pretty nice videos, so if you want to check out his channel, uh, Radicool, just like this, uh, be sure to subscribe to him, and uh, Tell him you found you found his channel because of Hylee and Luke. <laughs> All right, uh, enjoy the video. Hey guys, Hylee and Luke here. How's everyone doing today? Uh, I'm doing a little bit different kind of video today. I thought it would be pretty fun if we took a look at the Zelda website. Uh, there was an update for the website recently. Uh, I already looked at it a little bit already, but uh, I'm going to take a look at it. And I'm gonna let's I'm gonna like do a little tour of the website. So let's take a look at it. Uh, okay, the official home for the Legend of Zelda. That's pretty cool. It's dangerous to go alone. See that there? It's pretty good looking. Official home of the Legend of Zelda. Journey through the Kingdom of Hyrule and discover the timeless battles between good and evil and the secrets of the all-powerful Triforce. Sweet. All right, so let's check out the home page first. Right here we've got a uh, Champions Ballad DLC trailer. That's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty neat. Okay, um, uh, learn more featured games. Featured games here, we got Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, Breath of the Wild, Linked Between Worlds. Twilight Princess HD, Triforce Heroes, and Majora's Mask 3D. And then out here we've got, ooh, it's uh, the Amiibos, the uh, the Champion Amiibos. We've got Urbosa, Rivali, Mifa, and Daruk. We can view more Amiibos. And then there's a uh, good old Link and Friends on Play Nintendo. Hmm, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I think, I think. <laughs> I don't really know what, uh, Play Nintendo is, but that, that looks pretty cool. Um, follow Legend Zelda on Facebook. They got all their social media stuff down here. Blah blah blah. Share this site. Wait, I haven't liked this. Yo, give this give this page a like if you haven't already. God, I I thought I gave this page a like, but I guess I didn't. Um. Uh. Ch -ch -ch. All right. So uh, now that we've done that, let's go through each of these tabs. Discover the legend. Uh, official home of the Legend of Zelda, Discover the Legend, the creation. Oh, wow. According to ancient tales, the world was created by three goddesses. Din, the goddess of power, created the land. The goddess of wisdom, created order. The goddess of courage, created life. Din, Nehru, and Faror. 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 I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce that. If you guys know how to pronounce that, be sure to let me know. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh... The Triforce. Before they left the world they created, the three goddesses created the Triforce, a magical object made up of three golden triangles and entrusted with the goddess Hylia. The Triforce grants a wish to those who possess the three virtues of the goddesses, power, wisdom, and courage. If one doesn't have the proper balance of virtues, the Triforce will split into three pieces. Only by unite reuniting all three pieces can the true power of the Triforce be obtained. Throughout time, the Triforce has chosen a select few to wield its individual powers. Oh, this is pretty cool. Triforce of Courage, Link, up there. And then it switches to power, that's cool. And then it shows Ganondorf, um, Zelda, and it's, it's the Winsome. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Oh, I never noticed the little designs on the Triforce pieces, that's pretty cool. There's so like, Zelda's right here, there's like a shadow of Zelda. I don't know if you guys can see that properly, but there's like, the symbol of Nero right here. And then, uh, there's Link right here, with the uh, Courage. It's got the, it's got the orbs from Wind Waker on here. That's pretty cool. The history of Hyrule. Oh, the timeline. Check this out. It's the it's the official Zelda timeline. Um, so right here we've got Scarlet Sword, Minish Cap, Four Swords, Ocarina of Time. So right here, the Legend of the Goddess and the Hero, Creation of the Sky, blah blah blah. Skyward Sword, 
first we got Skyward Sword, it's first game in this in the timeline, and then we go to the Minish Cap. That's pretty that's pretty cool. It's pretty dope. And then we got four swords, uh, Ocarina of Time. And then we get to choose if we go on to go to the Heroes Defeated or the Heroes Triumphant. Let's go to Heroes Triumphant, and then it splits into two more. Do you want to go to the child era or the adult era? Let's go to the adult era. And then uh, we've got, and it goes Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit Tracks. But if we go to Child Era, the Adult Era goes away from lo from what we see. And then we've got Majora's Mask, Flight Princess, and then Four Swords Adventures. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty. That's pretty dope. Um, okay. And then if we go to the Heroes Defeated, then we've got Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, uh, Oracle of Seasons, Ages, um, Link Between Worlds, Triforce Heroes, the original Legend of Zelda, and then Zelda 2. Two. Uh, that's that's pretty cool. Um, oh, the glossary. Oh, I I uh, I looked at the glossary for a bit before uh, like a couple weeks ago. No, maybe like last week. I don't remember when I looked at this last, but let's take a look at it. Let's look at all the characters they have. Link, the young hero of Hyrule and wielder of the Master Sword. Link, as seen in The Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess HD. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, say something about this. Um, there are a couple of these descriptions where the where the artwork that they did is not the same as the game they say it's from, and. Being the hardcore Zelda fan I am, I'm like, that's not the same thing, it's not the same thing, it's not the same thing. Why? Why are you doing this to me? So, Twilight Princess HD, this is technically for the original Twilight Princess, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, like, like this artwork, this is new artwork that was made for Twilight Princess HD. This works, right here. Zelda, wise beyond her years. Zelda is the royal princess of Hyrule. Ganondorf. I did not know this, but Ganondorf has a last name. I did not know that. Once known as the King of Thieves, Ganondorf Dragmire used the power of the Triforce to become the beast Ganon. That is so cool. I did not know that. Ganondorf as seen in Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Yeah, like this artwork as well was made for Twilight Princess HD. This artwork works. The the Link artwork was made for the original Twilight Princess in 2006. Like this should say just Twilight Princess, not Twilight Princess HD. It's just a little nitpick that I'm that I'm doing, but it's not that big of a deal. But there are some where it's absolutely obvious that it's uh, something different. Uh, Ganon. I think this is Twilight Princess HD art, so it works. Uh, Ganon is the board-like manifestation of pure evil. Ganon, as seen in Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Impa, here we go. Part of the Sheikah tribe, Impa serves Princess Zelda and acts as her protector. Impa, as seen in Skyward Sword. Okay. Uh, Deku, a race of plant-like creatures who vary in size and temperament. Deku as seen in Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, that works. I'm pretty sure this is art that was made for Majora's Mask 3D, that works. Um, this artwork was made for the original Ocarina of Time. So, this should technically say Sheikah, an ancient clan of ninja-like warriors sworn to protect the royal family. Uh, and then Sheikah as seen in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. This is technically for Ocarina of Time N64, but not that big of a deal. It's the same game, doesn't matter. Also, uh, I'm wondering why Sheik isn't a separate character as this, because it's saying, like, Sheikah as a tribe and not Sheik the character. Uh, Gorons, uh, Twilight Princess HD, that works. Um, Zora, Ocarina of Time 3D. I think this is for original N64, I'm not too sure on that. Saria, Ocarina of Time 3D. Uh, that's original art for the N64 one, that should be different. Koroks, this is like, see? Now, the, they got this, this one right. It's just the Wind Waker and not the Wind Waker HD. Um, Koroks, plant-like creatures who evolved from Kamen Kokiri. Uh, in the story of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, they roam the land planting seeds of the Great Deku Tree, returning once a year to Forest Haven to gather more seeds. Dang. Koroks. They used to be Kokiri. That's pretty cool. I think they say that in the Hyrule Historia, but it's cool to have the official site say that, you know? Uh, Gerudo. A reclusive tribe made up almost exclusively of women. Largely, they keep up to the desert region and have remained peaceful to the people of Hyrule with few exceptions. Gerudo as seen in Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Uh, 
I think this is also art from the N64 one. Uh, Midna, resident of the Twilight Realm, Midna helps Link regain his human form and save Harrow from falling into shadow. Midna, as seen in Twilight Princess HD. Eh, this, I, I know. I mean, like, I haven't seen this art before, so this might be for Twilight Princess HD. I'll just go with it. Uh, wow, that fairy looks crazy. Um, okay. <laughs> the, uh, the shadow effect really emphasizes how crazy she looks. That's pretty messed up. <laughs> uh, large humanoid fairies known for their healing powers. They help adventurers in need and can gift them with magical powers. Uh, great fairy as seen in Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Yeah, that's, I think, I'm pretty sure that's new art. Rito. Rito, yeah, this is uh, this is original art for the Wind Waker, so it's just the Wind Waker, as you can see right here, not the Wind Waker HD. Uh, progress of bird-like people who evolved from the Zora. Rito soar across the sky with their enormous wings. Tingle, an eccentric car cartog oh, cartographer. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Cartographer who wishes to become a fairy, Tingle is often an ally to Link. Tingle as seen in Majora's Mask 3D. This is definitely art that was made for the original N64 Majora's Mask. However, because of how like clean it looks, this might have been revamped for Majora's Mask 3D. Um, Kebora Gebora, Ocarina of Time 3D. I'm not going to talk about him. Uh, King of Hyrule. The last character in this glossary. The head of the royal family, uh, as seen in The Wind Waker. Yep, that's pretty accurate. Uh, okay, now we're going to the items. So most of those, all, pretty much all those characters were pretty accurate to which art they're from. So now here's where it gets all messed up. All of the items in this are kind of not right. But uh, let's take a look at the glossary here. Uh, Triforce, a sacred relic that bestows a wish to one who has power, wisdom, and courage. Triforce as seen in Zelda A Link Between Worlds. That is correct. This art was made for A Link Between Worlds. That works. Um, oh, I went too far. Um, Sheikah Stone. Large stones that offer visions to help travelers on their quest. Uh, Sheikah Stone as seen in Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. That works. This this was a Sheikah Stone. This Sheikah Stone was made for Majora's Mask 3D. That one works. Um, Ocarina of Time. Magical musical, a magical musical instrument that can conjure different powers through song. Ocarina of Time, as seen in Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Uh, the goddess harp, said to be a divine instrument of the goddess who once watched over Hyrule. Goddess harp is seen in Skyward Sword. Uh, the Wind Waker, magical conductor's wand that invokes the powers of the wind. The Wind Waker, as seen in Zelda The Wind Waker. I think... I think this, like, specific art, I'm trying to figure out where to point, right there, this specific art was made for Wind Waker HD, um, not that big of a deal, same game, doesn't matter. Uh, Majora's Mask, this, now this is a Majora's Mask 3D render, and it's saying it's for the original Majora's Mask, which is, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Same game, like I said before, but uh, a sinister looking mask that bestows an evil and wicked power upon its wearer. Uh, okay, now here's where it gets messed up. The Master Sword, a sacred blade with the power to vanquish evil. The Master Sword is said to be one of the only weapons that can destroy Ganon. All right, now look at this. This Twilight Princess, this is a Twilight Princess Master Sword. Clear, like you can tell, like just looking at it. It's got, it's, got, it's realistic looking, the art, the art, the way it looks, everything, it's Twilight Princess, and it says, the mask, oh, excuse me, ah, uh, I was like, um, but yeah, Twilight Princess Master Sword, and it says, Master Sword as seen in Zelda Skyward Sword, Nintendo, this is clearly from Twilight Princess, Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword have very different art styles, come on, and then right here, we've got, this is, this is, this is very accurate, not only is this the Hylian Shield from Twilight Princess, but it's actually accurate to which version of Twilight Princess it is. Hylian Shield, a large heavy shield that bears the emblem of the Triforce. Uh, it's got, it's the exact same shield from the original Twilight Princess. The shields in Twilight Princess and Twilight Princess HD actually look slightly different. So it's good to know that this is the one from the original and it works with which game it's from. Um, bow and arrow this is this 
bow and arrow is from Twilight Princess, and I think this is also from Brawl, from Smash Brothers Brawl, like the way it looks and stuff, like the, the style. It's from like Twilight Princess slash Smash Bros. Brawl, just like by the way it looks and the way it's like pulled. Um, long range weapons that can come with a variety of enhancements like fire, ice, and light, but it says it's from Zelda Skyward Sword. Not true, not true at all. The Skyward Sword bow is much more colorful looking, the wood is not as dark. Um, you can you, know, you can also upgrade upgrade the uh, the bow. So uh, that's 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 not the same bow. Uh, Twilight Princess. Yep, that's pretty accurate for bombs. Bombs. This is the same kind of bombs from Twilight Princess, the original. Uh, the boomerang, as seen in Twilight Princess. Yep, that's pretty accurate. Okay. Uh, hook shot. Accurate of time. 3D. Uh, I don't mean to be picky, but uh, that's the long shot and not the hook shot. The hook shot is blue, whereas the long shot is purple. So I mean, I mean, either way, people still call the long shot the hook shot, but I just want to make it like clear that this is technically the long shot from Ocarina of Time 3D and not the hook shot from Ocarina of Time 3D. Either way, because I mean the long shot is just a longer chained hook shot, so this still works. I'm just being picky. You guys are probably gonna hate me for this, but I'm just being myself. Um, the skull hammer. A slow but powerful weapon that can knock down several enemies at a time or small or, or smash obstacles. Skull hammer as seen in Zelda The Wind Waker. That works. Uh, boots. Uh, there are many types of enchanted footwear, including iron boots, pegasus boots, kokiri boots, and more that can give the wear various powers. Boots as seen in Ocarina of Time 3D. That's pretty accurate. Um, power glove. Uh, a magic glove that gives the user the strength of boulders. Zelda All Link Between Worlds, that's accurate. Uh, empty Bottle, this is as seen in Twilight Princess, yep. Um, lens of Truth, a magical lens that allows the user to see through any illusion. Lens of Truth, as seen in Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, that's accurate. The Lens of Truth is more more used in Majora's Mask 3D, I think. I'm not... I mean, as, it doesn't matter, they're in both games, so... It is it is in both games. Uh, Light Arrow, as seen in Ocarina of Time 3D, that's accurate. Uh, Sheikah Slate, as seen in Breath of the Wild, uh, that's a no-brainer, Sheikah Slate's the only game uh, Breath of the Wild has. Breath of the Wild is the only game with the Sheikah Slate, god, oh, I can't, I can't think, man. Heart Pieces, this is very wrong, Heart Pieces, fractions of a full heart container, if the user collects the required number of items, he will get an additional heart container on his health meter. This is the Twilight Princess piece of heart, and I can prove it, watch this, uh, Twilight... Twilight Princess Heart Pieces. Heart Pieces. Let's go to Images. Boom. This is the exact same thing. Now let's go to uh, Ocarina of Time Heart Pieces. That's what the that's what the uh, Ocarina of Time Heart Pieces look like. Right there. So, uh, as you can see, they, it is very different, and it's saying heart pieces as seen in Ocarina of Time 3D. Nintendo, why? Oh, this one is the worst of all. Magic Hammer. First of all, it's not called a Magic Hammer. This is the Megaton Hammer. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe, okay, maybe they're saying Magic Hammer because there are different types of hammers, in other Zelda games, and they're just saying Magic Hammer as seen in Ocarina of Time 3D, but technically this is the Megaton Hammer, so if they're trying to be specific to the Megaton Hammer, then they should have called this the Megaton Hammer as seen in Ocarina of Time 3D, but I know that there are ha there's like a hammer in A Link to the Past, in A Link Between Worlds, and some other games, but I mean, in the item list, they had the Skull Hammer, which is a completely different hammer. They could have, if they wanted to, they could have just said Magic Hammer with the Skull Hammer, as seen in, like, if they just had one hammer, it makes sense, but this is the Megaton Hammer, so if they're gonna be specific, they needed to do that specifically. Um, I'm pretty sure they say this is, yep, uh, the Slingshot, a Y-shaped weapon used to fire small projectiles like Deku Seeds. Slingshot, as seen in Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Not true, this is Twilight Princess. Uh, it's Pretty, I mean, if you've played the games, you that's pretty obvious to see. Um, 
Pegasus boots, this is right. The... Did I just say this is right? I feel so dumb. Um, these are the hover boots from Ocarina of Time, not the Pegasus boots. Enchanted boots that provide the wearer with incredible speed can also greatly enhance jumping ability when paired with Rock's Feather. Pegasus boots as seen in Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Nintendo, this is not right at all. These are the hover boots. These are the hover boots. If you can use the Pegasus boots, the Pegasus boots just have wings on the side. The, Pe the hover boots are not like... The hover these are the hover boots. Just... If you're gonna sh show Pegasus boots, show the right boots, because these are the hover boots. Ocarina of Time doesn't even have uh, Pegasus boots. They have hover boots. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> this is, like, the worst one of all of them. Um, iron boots. Uh, heavy footwear for walking on the bottom of lakes or withstand strong winds. Iron boots as seen in Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Not true at all. These are Twilight Princess and Twilight Princess HD. I'm going to show you guys put the, uh, okay, Ocarina of Time 3D Iron Boots. Uh, as you can see right there, it's showing the real Ocarina of Time. These are the real Ocarina of Time 3D boots, Iron Boots. This is what they actually look like. The, the, uh, these are Twilight Princess. <laughs> Uh, tunic, the traditional clothing of the Kokiri people, Link is often seen wearing this lightweight shirt. Some tunics are said to give magical powers. Tunic is seen in Ocarina of Time 3D, that is accurate. Um, mirror shield, special shield that reflects light and sometimes magical attacks. Mirror shield is seen in Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, that works, that, that fits. Um, Triforce shards, as seen in the Wind Waker, yep. Uh, shattered fragments of the Triforce after it was scattered across the land, blah blah blah, yep. Uh, flippers, as seen in A Link Between Worlds, that's accurate. Um, cuckoos, uh, chicken-like birds that when held overhead can allow one to briefly glide on air. Cuckoos, as seen in Ocarina of Time 3D, that works. Uh, maps, as seen in Twilight Princess, that is accurate. Uh, boss key, as seen in Twilight Princess, that works. Um, let's see here. Rod, a magic weapon that fires elemental blasts. Rod, as seen in Zelda A Link Between Worlds, that works. And this is technically the fire rod, but I know that they're using one rod to one one rod to demonstrate uh, all the different rods they have in the games. So that works. Um, rupee, the main form of currency in Hyrule, uh, as seen in the Wind Waker. That's accurate. Uh, potion, sometimes known as an elixir. Potions come in a variety of colors and can restore health, stamina, and more depending on the type. Potion as seen in Zelda Wind Waker. That works. Um, bug catching net as seen in Skyward Sword. That one, so far, I think that's the only Skyward Sword item that is accurate besides the Goddess Harp. Uh, the bug catching net or bug, the bug catching net or bug net is used to catch small creatures like bugs, birds, or even fairies. Uh, before the bug, when there's no bug net in the Zelda games, it's just to use the empty bottle. You just like take the bottle and just <laughs> catch it. Small key, little keys used to open common dungeons and chests. Small key is seen in Zelda Twilight Princess. That is accurate. That's what that's what it looks like. Triforce. We're back to the Triforce. Oh, that we got through all of those uh, misplaced things. Good lord. All right, now let's go back up here. I'm gonna go all the way back up here. I think we have to go back to the main page of the website. Um, I think we have to go to about. Uh, creation. Oh no, we already went to about. Look at that. I don't even remember going to about. Alright, so now that we've already done about, let's go to learn more for the DLC pack. News, blah blah blah. Oh, check that out. One hit obliterator. Look at that art for the obliterator. That looks really cool looking. Um, players will tackle. Master cycle. Uh, there's a uh, good old Cass. Cass is awesome. I love Cass. Uh, Island lobster shirt. The, uh, this is the Outset Island shirt from uh, Wind Waker. Ravio's hood from Link Between Worlds. Sans helmet from Twilight Princess. Phantom Ganon armor. I love wearing the Phantom Ganon armor sometimes. Uh, Phantom Ganon from uh, Ocarina of Time 3D. I love wearing this armor sometimes. Honestly, uh, I had a stream one time where I was wearing the Phantom Ganon armor and then I, wear, I wore Savage Lionel stuff and it was freaking awesome. I looked so... Uh, overpowered. It was so cool. 
and then the, the Royal Guard uniform. A lot of people don't like the Royal Guard uniform, but I honestly love it. I think it looks really cool. I mean, honestly, for Royal Guard uniform, a lot of people were probably expecting, like, black knight armor. Like, like the normal knight armor, but, like, a full helmet that covers Link's head entirely, and it's, like, black with, like, the royal crest on it and stuff like that. Um, ancient bridle and saddle for the for the horses, allows you to teleport and stuff, but honestly, like, when, I mean, honestly, once you get the master cycle, you don't even use the horse anymore. Like, who am I kidding? I mean, okay, well, sometimes I do use the horse, but I don't use the teleport stuff on it, because I like to look classic. I like to use a classic horse with like, uh, just like the normal Zelda attire, classic Zelda attire. Um, cool, so we got that. We got that out of the way. Let's go. Featured games, Hero Warriors, Zelda, Breath of the Wild. I think each of these take you to a different page of the Zelda site, though. It takes you to Nintendo.com. So, uh, it takes you to Nintendo.com for that version of the game. Uh, let's go. Let's try Urboso. Where does that go? Nintendo.com still? Okay. Uh, Link, what is, what is this Play Nintendo? I gotta see this. Link's got mad style. Take this quiz to discover. It's just a quiz? What the heck? Where would you spend most of your time? Uh, honestly, I really like most of my time I've spent in the snowy mountains, so let's do that. Um, which enemy would you attack first? Well, I would probably attack the choo-choos because they're a one-hitter you get them out of the way so that they don't so they're so just so that they're not a problem uh ice choo-choo uh which weapon would you want by your side probably i want to say the pitchfork i'm gonna go with the pitchfork uh steak not like that's a no-brainer which color is the most stylish i'm gonna go with green uh if we're talking in terms of like forest like land i'm gonna go with like green Let's see results bundle up with the warm double okay <laughs> that's it i guess cool little quiz uh yeah i think that's uh that just about covers it follow nintendo on their social media pages uh speaking of speaking of social media pages uh if you haven't already, you should. You guys should uh, follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Luke or Twitter, or follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Luke. So it's like H-R, no, H-Y-R-U-L-I-A-N, Luke. <sighs> Just a two-letter difference between Hylian and Luke and Hyrulean Luke. Uh, not that big of a deal, whatever. Someone, someone took my actual username and I was like, really? 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 Uh, but yeah, that just about does it. So uh, I think yeah, that was a uh, pretty good. That was pretty fun to uh, explore the uh, the good old homepage. I'm pretty sure we already looked at everything though. The about yeah, all three of those links. I'm pretty sure all three of these links take you to the uh, where to go. Oh, it's playing the video again. Anyways. Uh, I'm gonna end it here. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a good old like, and uh, be sure to share this video. And every single like and share I get will help me grow as a channel. So it really all depends on you guys helping me out. And I would really appreciate every single like and share I get. I really appreciate everything you guys do for this channel. I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and click that bell notification so that you know whenever I upload a video or whenever I live stream. I do live stream from time to time to time, so if you're able to make it to one, be sure to check it out. Um, uh, ch -ch -ch, anything else? I do have Discord. If you have a Discord account, be sure to join my Discord server in the description below. It is called Hylian Discord. Uh, uh, I use that as a notification thing pretty much and to, and to contact my fellow fans uh, that are not on the web at the moment. Um, uh, I already mentioned that you guys should uh, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, uh, at Hyrule and Luke, and then uh, like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Hyrulean Luke. Um, I think that just about does it, so, uh, oh! Oh, 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 I totally, totally forgot. Um, 
Actually, you know what? This is going to be in the intro. Never mind. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it in the intro. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. My name is Hylian Luke, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao!